Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dimples On Demand. And in this video, I wanna talk about what is happening in the Instacart news. Usually I never speak about things like this, but I've been seeing this happen more and more lately. And I want you guys to be aware of what is going on. So there are scammers out here in the Instacart streets that are calling shoppers and asking them for their personal information. Once they're able to rope you in, they then go into your account and they'll take your money or you'll get deactivated from the account. I am uncertain as to how they are doing this. I have no clue. I kind of feel like it is someone from the inside selling people's information or it could just be a hacker that is going after the Instacart shoppers. Now we all know that for whatever reason, even though Instacart is a tech company, they have issues on the tech side of things. They were bombarded by bots last year where shoppers like you and I were unable to get batches. It seems that they have somewhat fixed the issue, but now there's another scam, a new scam. I've been reading it online and it's just happening to so many people. Let me just say this flat out. Instacart is not going to call you to ask you for your personal information. What is the reason for them to even do this? Unsuspect, unsuspecting shoppers are new or busy, just not realizing what is going on. They're giving their information to these scammers. These scammers are then going in and wiping out their accounts. Then they are unable to, shoppers are unable to access their accounts. I just want you guys to be on the lookout for any sort of scam activity. Instacart is not going to ask you for your personal information. They're not going to send you a code, send you a pin. Like I noticed that I've been getting emails about incorrect receipts. For example, I did an order yesterday. One order, that was it. I scanned the only receipt that I had. This morning I wake up, I have an email stating I scanned the wrong receipt. How can I scan the wrong receipt if this is the only receipt that I've had? So they're using so many tactics, tactics to try to gain access to your account. My advice to you is don't do it. Don't give them any personal information. Do not allow them to gain access to your account. I'm going to play a video of a Instacart shopper who she just didn't know. I don't want to blame her and say this is completely her fault. She really was unaware. She stated she received a call from some guy who claimed to be from Instacart. He wanted access to her account. He sent her a pin. She then repeated the pin. He called her. She called him. Next thing you know, her money was gone. She could not access her shopper's account. And she was distraught, rightfully so, because all the hard work that she put in, the money's gone. Then she posted this online and everyone is upset with her, stating that she's the scammer and she's trying to get money from people. And she then came back and said, that's not the case. She doesn't want anyone's money. She, want, she wanted the money that she earned. I'm also reading online that they're stating well, some information is out of date. Just give us access to your account so we can update it. Instacart is not going to do this. Like, I don't know why the scammers continue to scam innocent shoppers who are working hard out here doing the batches, but Instacart really needs to tighten up their security. So let's watch the video now of this woman who was scammed. To most of you that think that, oh, she's begging for money, I am not begging for money. I swear to God, I didn't know this guy's a scammer. He called me, he said, I'm working with Instacart. Give me your information. I was in the middle of preparing myself to go to church. I didn't know, I just gave him, he said, okay, I'm going to send the code to you right now, just send it back to me. Then he called the phone. Then I called him back. Then he said, oh, this is the code. So he gave me the, uh, the code. And I gave him the code. So, you know, like I said, I said, oh, what is going on? I, so I went to check my email. I saw an email from Instacart. 
I tried to log into my Instacart account. I couldn't log in. Then I said, what's going on? So I've been chatting with Instacart back and forth, but it's like they're taking forever to really answer me. Okay. <laughs> it is a lot of back and forth. And she just didn't know. She was unknowing of what was going on and she got scammed. She got scammed. She was in a vul vulnerable state and he caught her off guard and she did give him access to her account. I would never scam anybody. I have never in my life do any life, is, uh, life phone or life whatever. I'm a very private person and I'm a very shy person. But the reason I came out to you was because I was confused. I was afraid. I was shaking because I worked so hard. I've been working from Monday to Saturday doing this on the side just to support the business that, that I'm in the process of opening because I want to give my children better life, better education. It's sad. It's very, very sad. I just want you guys to be aware. Luckily, thank God, this woman was able to, with the help of the gig community, the Instacart community, she was able to obtain an email address to let them know that, you know, she has been scammed. I believe she emailed Trust and Safety, but there's another email. And if I find it, I'll include it in this video. She was able to contact them and let them know what happened. It did take some time, but thankfully she was able to regain access to her account and she was able to get all of her money back. Instacart is aware that there are scammers, but I I don't know how they're going to resolve this issue. I also want to let you guys know some of the other scams that are coming up as well. So be on the lookout for strange numbers that call you out of the blue stating, well, this is Instacart, and they continue to call. Then they'll send you a text message saying, Failure to comply will result in deactivation. Instacart is not, they're not sending text messages like this. They're not sending text messages to your phone. Not at all. And if you do receive an email from Instacart, I want you to click the sender name and analyze that, that sender's email address. Is it an e uh, Instacart email address? Sometimes it's just a bunch of letters and a bunch of numbers. It has no connection whatsoever to Instacart. And if you so happen to receive one of these scam calls of the or a scam email, do not respond. Hang up immediately if you get the call. Then what I would do is reach out to chat directly just to verify if this really is someone from Instacart trying to, for whatever reason, gain access to your account, which they would not. They already have the access. They can see who you are. Really think about it. When you initiate a chat, you don't have to introduce yourself. You don't have to provide any personal information. You don't have to give your phone number. You don't have to give your email address. They already know who you are. They'll say, hi, Anne. How may I help you today? They're not saying, hi, can I have the four digit code that I just sent to your phone? Come on. So if you receive a call, an email, a text, disregard it and reach out to support directly to see what is going on. Please, 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 please pay attention to what is going on. We are working far too hard to give our accounts away to any scammer. Be aware, be on the lookout. Don't get caught up, please pay attention. Again, Instacart will never ask you for your personal information. They already know who you are. You don't have to give anything to them. Don't fall for the pin scam. Don't fall for the give me access to your account scam. Give me your email, give me your mailing address, routing number, come on, scam. So you guys, please be on the lookout and comment below if you all have ever received any scammer activity, any scammer correspondence for, from individuals claiming to be from Instacart. Please leave your comments below. That is it for this video. I am Dimples on Demand. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.